Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you stunners straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2023 reaction video. Now guys we've had a little bit of a mini Super Saturday haven't we? We have had songs from Moldova, Iceland and Serbia revealed for the contest, each having their own respective national finals. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Serbia and their winning entry. Now, Serbia's song comes to us in the form of My Evil Twin, as said by him on Instagram, not me. That's right, Luke Black with the track Samarisuspava. Now guys, I have already reacted to the studio version of this track. And if you guys wanna check that out, Click the link up the top there and it'll take you straight to that video because I don't want you missing out. However, I am yet to see this live and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a little bit concerned of how this is going to translate live to stage because it is a great studio track and it's very dialogued and thematic. I'm not too sure if it's going to translate too well, but it must have because it obviously won for Serbia, didn't it? But before we get started, I really want to know what you think about this track and if it is to your tastes or if you do not get the hype. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments, but it's time to do this so say it with me now enough chat let's react as you can see guys judging you by my headband today today i am identifying as bulbasaur let's do this let's go <laughs> straight off the bat that looks so awkward laying down just with the mic Ooh. what is he laying on is he laying on a big leaf Hello? love this lighting I love this evil music. It really gives me a Stranger Things vibe. He is hitting those stylized vocals very well. And to sing laying down to open the song, not easy to do, and he did it well. When that pulsating deep beat comes in, you know you're in for a wild ride. Also, nobody gave me an epileptic warning because that is an epileptic fit waiting to happen. So far, he's really setting the scene. It's eerie, it's dull, it's grim, but in a great way. He has this way of commanding attention as well because he just has you gripped. Hello? Hiya. I love those really weird sounding keys in the background. It's almost as if somebody slowed the music down and made it really creepy. And look at these dancers. The whole staging aesthetic is a vibe. And yeah, it's not a singy singy song, is it? But it goes perfectly with the stylistics in this track. And I love the subtle themes of video games because it does have like a retro video game sound in it and the staging complements that well. I'm kind of getting Metal Gear Solid vibes here when he's pulling out like, the gas tanks from these soldiers' backs. And those growl sounds in the background is going very well with this staging. The creepy dancing, everything about it is so stylized. Artistry coming through, he is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, and that abrupt ending of almost like a record being scratched on the needle. Very, very good. Do you know what, guys? At first, like I said before, I was a bit worried of how this was going to translate to stage and if the aesthetics were going to hit. But they really went to town on that, didn't they? From the opening, how he was singing in a leaf or a shell or something, to how he came down, he had the whole command of the audience and the attention of every viewer at home. And he really made something of that track. And on stage, it went incredibly well. The whole grim, dark, gruesome, underlying themes really came through. And the way that the soldiers came on at the end after the game over, there was kind of like a blend of Metal Gear Solid with a creepy retro kind of game aesthetic, but also the underlying kind of semiotic values there were like I was getting vampires, I was getting gruesome, I was getting walking dead. You know, like the way that he was walking like this, like going towards the camera. That did remind me of what something you would see from The Walking Dead or from a zombie show. So there are lots of different references in there, lots of different nods to different things. And I think that has to come from the video game game over thing. And obviously the theme of sleeping. It is just potential to go wherever you want with this song. I just want to sleep forever. It's better when we dream. And I mean, that gives you scope to stage it as wacky as you want. But how they did it there was perfect because it was dark enough and gruesome enough that wasn't too in your face to really complement what the music was giving you. It didn't distract too much from the song because with something like this you do have the danger of making it so wacky that nobody is listening to what you are singing you are just watching this weird stage show but this was perfect the way that the dances went in beat with the wacky track and then when all of the pulsating beats came in and then the music really started to climax 
that's when it went crazy and that was very cleverly done. It worked so well and it made such an impact and I think that is gonna do very, very well. Already that's straight in my top 10. And it's not just because he's my evil twin. But guys, thoroughly impressed. I think it translated to stage impeccably well. What did you think about this? And are you a fan of the stage version or the studio version? Let me know all of your thoughts down below, guys. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. But that is all from me and all from this video. If you loved Serbia this year and loved keeping up with their national selection, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all the other videos I have to bring you on this channel and you won't miss a trick. But all this left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.